What is up, Perfect Average Golfers? Welcome back to the channel, and welcome back. After almost a full year, we're playing the Grove Park Inn. It's really funny, I went back, rewatched my old videos. Boy, was I bad last year. We shot a 92 here last time from the tips. Obviously, the goal is to get way underneath that, with 77 being a recent score, and we had an 82, 83 yesterday when we played. So, we're looking to try to get as close to 80 as possible. It's a little over 6,000 yards from the back tee box, and it's a par 70. So, that's what we're gonna be trying to play for here today. We've got a par four to start us off on hole number one straight away. Green is a little bit offset to the right we got driver right on into the fan let's get it going let's have a good round all right it's a little windy so i'm gonna talk from behind the camera we got about 150 yards but it's dead on into the fan so i'm gonna take a little bit extra here with an eight iron playing about a 165 shot Oh, it's left. Get lucky. All right, we'll have a shot. Yeah, so uh, out here at the Grove Park Inn, I said this in my first video that I did about a year ago. There's no driving range because we're like in a very limited amount of space. It's only 6,000 yards from the tip, but they did just add a hitting net, which is nice to get loose on, but not seeing how the ball's gonna fly and what direction I'm hitting is a little terrifying and we have a tendency to miss left so that's good to see again like we mentioned we should be fine there's plenty of space over here up and down for par um last that we were here my putting was absolutely atrocious so that's number one <laughs> have to read these greens a little better and put some solid rolls on them let's go all right we're a little long up and down here we go 58. Sit. that's gonna be real long Hmm. That's not very good. Got that for bogey. Wow, look down. Never gave it a chance. Bad approach, bad chip. <laughs> not terrible putts, but I didn't hit any warm-up putts, so it's a triple to start. <laughs> Yikes. Don't love that. On to the next par three. All right, next hole up, par three. Need to try to get something back early here, just play the par. Uh, it's a 162 shot. A little into the wind here, but elevated tee box. I'm still gonna hit an eight iron, just try to keep it a little bit low. Here we go. That's an eight iron. Take that. You guys missed the pin, it's over there. So last we were here, like I mentioned, we were putting like no other we were so bad on the greens but we started this whole journey on the front nine like five over through two we hit a triple and then a double and we ended up salvaging we played the front nine to a plus nine so i know that triple's not exactly appealing but we got a ball in the green let's dial in this putter start playing for par neutralize the triple you know i'll take that speed all day long not bad Right here. Getting it figured out. Par here on two. Neutralizing that triple little by little out of the next. All right, next hole up. Par five. Only 476. Definitely hittable. Um, there's a couple of lighter yellowish trees in the distance as you see the camera pop up. That's going to be the target aiming line. Uh, we're playing one of the pros here. David's here with us, which is awesome. And he told us that everything bounces from right to left. So, driver's the call. Yeah, so not going. too far left. Keep going. Now that's perfect. Okay. Yeah, if they missed everything, you're good. <laughs> All right. You can hit anything. We take that. All right, we got about 200 yards yeah. left. I'm just going to play to the left side and give myself a chip. I'm not going to really attack with the hurting wind. Uh, so, four hybrid, nice, solid swing. Play to the left side of the green. Or just go right at it. Holy smokes. <laughs> Thank you. We'll say that was intentional. Cut everything else out before that. We totally meant to go pin hunting right there out of the rough 200 yards away. <laughs> Let's go, boys and girls. We can get one back here at least. Oh, I couldn't believe it. 
I think I pulled it a little bit. That's good. All right. We keep chugging along. I mean, to be fair, it's 476 for a par five. It's very gettable. You should score on that one, I think, if you're someone like me. So good to have it. On to the next. All right, next little par four. Last time we were here, we thought we were going right at the bunker you're about to see, but the line is actually kind of over the tree. Uh, the pro here, David, just said, hey, being on the five fairway is better than being on the right side of that bunker. So I got three wood trying to get over the top of this tree. Hopefully leave us a nice short approach shot in. Either go over the tree or curve around it. We curved around it. <laughs> yeah. I got about 140, 145-ish. We're gonna play about a 130 club here. Try to keep it a little bit short. The wind is helping. Let's see, scoreable. Little right, catch piece. Oh, maybe. It's not on, we're chipping. We'll take it. I should have figured with that lie, the ball being a little below my feet, that it was gonna stay out there a little bit to the right. I've been hitting these kind of full draws on these wedges, but not on that lie. Still a good shot, up and down for par worse. Come on, baby, let's keep it up. Come on, baby. All right, next hole up, par four here for the fifth. A little dog leg to the right. And as soon as you get off the drive, it starts to roll down towards the green left to right. So driver's the call here. You're gonna play it off the deepest tree that you're gonna see here in a moment. And uh, we'll see, hopefully fairway. Be right there. Yeah. Might be in the trees a little bit, but we'll take it. You know, it's funny now that I'm back here playing this course for the second time in about a year. The one thing you really notice about this course is the fairway conditions. Um, not only are they good, but there's not a crabgrass patch anywhere out here, which has been very common for a lot of courses that we've played lately. Now, I know the rain and everything else we've been getting out here in Western North Carolina during the summer months um, promotes the crabgrass growth, but it really is a shout out to the Omni Grove for uh, making sure they're taking good care of it. It is still expensive, but you know, maybe you are getting what you pay for here. It's a nice casual course. The greens are challenging. You know, it's kind of my thoughts on it. We'll talk more about it as we go on. Second shot coming up. All right, we just crept into the rough here. Not a bad spot to be if the ball's severely below my feet, which actually could help with this shot. So if you want to try to fade something over, got about 120 yards. We're going to play the 130 number as we're going into the fan again. 15 degree. Something close to the green would be fine, if not on. Oh, it didn't get left. That's all right. Front left side. Chip it a putt. All right, need to be a little delicate here. Green wants to run, it looks like, back into the left. So we want to try to keep something just on the green, maybe a pace or two, just right of the flag. And hopefully it kind of works for us a little bit. Shout out. Yeah, just like that. Okay, got that for par. Thank you. All right, next up, short par four. Uh, it's gettable, but only kind of if the wind was helping, which it's not, it's hurting. So we're taking seven wood here, playing to safe, uh, about a 240 shot, get us in that lower level that you're gonna see just over to this creek, and then it'll be about 100 shots, 100 yards or so in. Here we go. That's a ball. Yes, sir. The guy who plays behind me is pretty good. <laughs> All right, I got 98 playing about 105-ish here, going up to this pin. I'm gonna take 58 here. Still feel pretty confident in the club number. I'll try to keep it a little bit lower. Pretty full swing here. Oh, it just kept going left. Good piece. Got a bite at it. Yeah. Yeah, I just got the toe into the ground a little bit there, I think, overall. I mean, hard to say for sure, but it's not a bad strike. It's obviously just kind of started left, kept going left. We'll see. Up and down the bowl, or maybe a two-putt. That's all we need. How does... What? 
I had that coming right to left. It's a little messy. All right, a little messy on the green there. We got a par three for the seventh. Playing about 200 yards, a little more than that, and we're dead into the fan. So I've got my four again. I'm looking to just get something up there and hopefully it'd be nice to us. Space over there? Yes, yeah, there is. It might be so bad it's gonna be good. <laughs> just kept the face wide open. Oh, we just barely stayed in. Gonna have to keep the face as open as possible. Get this thing over this ridge. This would be a shot right here. Yeah, good shot. You did what you had to do there. Yeah. It's on, it's putting. Normally that pus is really fast. They're just slow today. Yeah. I'll take it though. It's all right. Oh, you got to hit it, Alan. Oh. Two messy greens in a row. Got to figure that out. One more to play here on the front nine. Still playing pretty solid golf. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the content so far. Let's keep at it. All right, par five here to finish off the nine. And it's uh. Well, fairway that tilts right to left, but the green is mostly straight on. I'm gonna try to hug it towards the trees a little bit. I don't think. Technically, this is number eight. Yeah, this is eight. No. Oh. Sweet, more golf to play. But if you, if you cut out now, you'll have a better score. <laughs> oh, wow. Really missed the ball. Straight down. I got yeah, it. Yeah, I got it. I got it. All right, not great, but we got a gap. Just gonna chip a six iron, get it back into the fairway, and give ourselves a third shot. That's exactly what we needed to do. All right, the medicine's been taken. We've got about 230 yards to the front. Nice, easy seven wood here. Just gonna play for the neck of the green. No need to get too greedy with this. Again, we're playing for par. Oh no, Alan. Screws are coming loose just a little bit here. We can recover. Still a lot of golf to be played. Got nine iron. It's going to go to the left side of these bunkers. Hopefully a little bit of draw off this lie. Still get up there. Still have a par foot. But we're just looking to get something close right now. Good shot. Go ball. All right. Up and down from there. So we played the shot correctly. I just caught it a little bit heavy trying to get cute with it, but up and down for bogey. Need this one. Need to get back on track here. Good shot. Good shot. Stay there. Great, great shot. All right. Yes, sir. Nice. That was a good read there. Thank you. Good up and down. We'll take that from the bogey play. after the messy yeah, first three shots. <laughs> After a sloppy first three shots, those up and downs really get the confidence back going. Now we're on to the last one on this side. Should be fun, I think it's a par three to finish this off. Let's see if we can get something on the green. All right, final hole up, par three, playing about 190-ish or so, but it's a lot of helping wins. So I'm gonna take a club less, taking six iron. Let's see. Solid, good swing here. Thank you. Yeah, Ken. So Kent, I hit a nice uh, shot. I, I made an eagle right. there, and I made within 10 feet. We are on, ladies and gentlemen. Two putt for part of finish would be solid. A couple of blow up holes here or there, but outside of that, we we're playing some really, really clean, solid golf. Really happy. Again, subscribe right now on the halfway point. If you are not already subbed, you're looking for more Western North Carolina, upstate South Carolina golf, vlog style, review style, the whole nine yards, which is a very appropriate reference considering playing golf. Let's go putt. Not very good. Crossed in, never up, never in. Sloppy finish. All right, pretty solid front nine overall. A couple of blow up holes, like we said, but largely they're still points of pretty solid golf. Reset on into the back nine here for hole number 10, up the hill, and a lot of the holes start to go towards kind of the, uh, the resort, so. Uh, we got driver for this par four, slight dog leg to the left, but largely pretty much straight on, so. Here we go, nice and clean. Start up this back nine solid. Not good, but I lost it. It's a little right. Yeah, 
uh, between those two trees over there. A little slicey. Hmm. All right, you guys won't be able to see the pin. But I got about 186. I'm gonna take six iron here. Try to play it a little low. Shot, David. And see if we can get something up towards the green. Don't need to necessarily get on here. Oh, I just absolutely hobbled it. <laughs> this actually ended up pretty okay. I'm gonna take 50 degree here. I'm gonna bump and run something up there just to try to keep it below the trees. Shouldn't need to do too much with this. Let's be a little nice to it and let it roll out. That's it. Oh, the trees help. Whew. That almost went in. I think it just straight jumped off the face. A bit surprised by it. Also, for what it's worth, I'm trying to walk this course right now. Get my ass kicked a little bit. <laughs> Let's putt. Wow. Wow. All right, par four, playing about 421. Trees left, bunker right. Let's split the difference, right? And if you're on the area, I do recommend giving this course a shot. If you can find it on Golf Now, you can find it usually for a deal or two. Again, I gotta give big shout outs to Jonathan and David that got me out here playing the course. Having a great day, honestly. A little sloppy there at the end of the front nine. A little bogey train started to creep in on us, but whew, it's a lot of walk in here. Here we go, fairway coming up. Good second shot. It'd be nice if we could sneak one back here. Short game's been okay for us today, but I think we could try to get a couple back, par out a handful of these holes. Maybe get to 80, again, par 70. So 10 over would be sick. Here we go. All right, we got about 140 playing closer to 130 with a bit of helping wind. Oh, we're gonna take the 50 degree wedge, go straight at this descended green, play it a little bit towards the middle. Hopefully it works out okay for us. And that's why. Little dart ski for you, boy. Okay. We said we wanted a birdie putt. We got one about pin high, a little off to the left. Come on, let's sink it. That's a big one to get back. Right. Yes, sir. Another short par five here, but it's dead into the fan. 477. Small dog leg to the right. It's got to get it again in between the bunker and the trees. Let's keep ourselves nice and open here, driver. We got a pretty good ways to go here, just in the rough. Not a great drive, as mentioned. Getting there too is possible, but I'm not really wanting to play with that because I don't have a good look at the green. We're just gonna go straight towards the left side of this kind of yellowish tree, the four hybrid. Should be good considering the wind. Let's find out. I lost it. I have no idea where that is but it started right and it felt like it was going right. Hopefully someone had eyes on it because I don't have any any idea where we're at. All right, so we hit the street that's over here to the right and it just skipped out of play. So now we just got up and down try here after the drop. Something close would be fine. Let's see here. I think that should be okay. It's a little short, but we'll see how much roll we got. You know, I'll take that. Thank you. We'll take that two putt considering the circumstances. All right, another short par four here. I'm gonna take four hybrid off the tee, just play about a 210 yard shot. Give us something comfortable in to an elevated green that's a little bit offset to the right. Here we go. Did you? Yeah. I'm not sure what kind of lie you'll have, but I think you find the ball. Yeah, if it's in play, it's okay. 
Maybe I should stop thinking I'm gonna play these little draws with these hybrids. The last couple times I've been out to play, I've been getting some really nice right to left motion off these things. I've been trying to play it out to the right and now they're going straight. So we'll see. Well, we'll see. All right, the consensus is that we think it went out of play. Um, I'm gonna hit a punchy six iron here. Got about 130 yards to get just over these bunkers over to the left side of the green, which is the only line we really have. So I'm just gonna punch a six iron, give us a chip or a putt, probably a chip. Let's see, hidden three. Oh, it's hooky. Come down. Fall apart a little bit. All right, this is a difficult shot. I got 54, bump and running. We just gotta get something onto the green and we gotta let this thing run. Good shot. Sit there. Wow. Just kept rolling, but we take that. I actually landed that pretty much exactly where I wanted to, but such is life, green falling away. Long bogey putt, I'm so winded. <laughs> All right, we need a bounce back here in this par three, playing about 165 to 170 ish. I've got seven iron here. It's gonna saw something off a little bit. Keep it easy, keep it nice. Let's find out. Stay there. Oh, it's not where I wanna be. Little drop up and down here. Didn't stay in. It's a tough lie, actually, about this drop. Get in the air, hopefully, let it sit soft. Oh. Nearly dunked it. Yeah. All right, short par four down the hill. Could try to hit driver, but. With how we're hitting driver right now. I'm gonna take three wood, hit something nice and easy. Give myself a little pitch and putt. Got a score here. Thank you. Might just hit three wood the rest of the day, honestly. Just a mature swing right there, honestly. I, I feel really good about it. I just, driver just feels weird right now, hitting it low and off the heel. Take a smaller club face, take an easier swing with the three wood. Give ourselves 20 extra yards. I like it, come on. We're at 12 over right now. Which means we're at 82 if we par out. We could definitely get birdie at least one or two of these holes coming through, so. That's the goal, come on baby. All right, it's the first time we've had something inside about 80 yards all day. 58 degree, we got 67 yards. Something close would be great. Should be required, actually. Yeah. A little shorter than I would have liked, but we kept it low, and we got a birdie putt. Can you be upset about any of those things? Nah. <laughs> Let's go. A little pushy. It did. Yeah. It did go over it there. It is starting to go that way. Yeah, it did start too, yeah. I pushed it a little bit too. Yeah. A little off the heel. It would be nice to get that one back, but such is life. We'll take the par. That was a tough putt. We put a good roll on it. Okay, par four, 16. Up the hill, straight away. Really not much else to say. We are gonna pull driver here. I know I said we we're just gonna play three wood the rest of the way up through, but gotta hit driver, because the 18th hole is a par five that a good drive will give us a really good look at it. So here we go, nice and straight. Not low and off the heel. <laughs> We just snuck into the rough here. Decent angle, you might not be able to see the pin from the camera. We got about a 111 distance, pulling up the hill. Taking a pretty full 54 here. See if we can get that thing back there. It's about a 120 shot for us, so hopefully that's enough club. Oh, I chunked the heck out of it. Muscle through there. That is a, it's not a divot, boys and girls. That right there's a crater. 
Why did I make that accent? I don't know. All right, so we did muscle it all the way to the green. We've got a long way to go up the hill. We've got a little left to right. Oh, we ever gave it a chance. Okay. Thank you. A little smooch. All right, par three for the 17th, playing 140 on the nose. Can take a little easy pitching wedge for this one. Let's see if we can get one back. Piece over there. Yep. Be good to me. Oh, oh. right at the end. Oh, I just didn't hit it. Oh, <laughs> Hold on. I just I tried married. being you for two seconds. You gotta get married to that routine. You don't stray from it. Oh, I just pushed it out. One, two, three. Oh, you good. <laughs> I was just trying to be you. All right, 18, par five. I, I Driver is the call. Let's see if we can put a little draw on this. And we're towards the left side of the fairway though. This is this wind is pushing left around. Perfect. Nice ball. That will work. All right, it's a hell of a time to hit the drive of my life. We've got 60 to 75 yards. I'm gonna hit a pretty good 58 though with this elevation. It's playing closer to 80. Let's see. That's gonna be pretty good, I think. We take those. All right, they're perfect average golfers, and 83 is the final score here at the Grove Park Inn. Uh, honestly, we had a couple of blow-up holes. We had like a triple off the first and a couple of doubles, but we had a lot of pars, and we were able to secure two birdies today, which is much better than we did at Broadmoor last time we did a full 18 hole. So I feel really good about the game. Uh, we got in a little bit of trouble a couple of different times where we really should just been a little bit smarter about how we were playing. Um, I think maybe we were being a little bit too cautious some of the times, which ended up turning us into a bad shot shot which left us way out and also in a penalty area so tough scenes when it comes to some of those moments but i hope you guys enjoyed the last couple of the contents with the full 18 holes let me know in the comments below if you like the 18 holes or if you want to do it in two parts of nine i think i know which ones you guys are going to say but we'll find out till next point though make sure all you golfers out there stay perfectly average Bye bye